On this week's episode of the Modern Dealer Podcast, I'm gonna talk about express cash offers and how dealers can compete with national online retailers. All that and more on this week's episode of the Modern Dealer Podcast. Welcome in to another episode of the Modern Dealer Podcast. My name is David Farmer with Intice. And today we are gonna be picking up on a conversation that we have had previously, and that is around providing uh, express cash offers, uh, cash offers for vehicles as customers would uh, uh, visit your dealership website and really give dealers the ability to compete with large volume online retailers. So a lot of things going on today. I got got a lot of great information to, that I want to be able to share with you today. Before we get going, let's, let me get another sip of my coffee here, a little uh, 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 Starbucks dark roast. Always like to start out with a little bit of coffee. So if you've been a watcher of the Modern Dealer podcast, one recurring theme that always comes back is around digital retailing, online retailing, and the large volume national online retailers. And specifically, how can individual dealerships compete in this new digital age? I think every watcher of this podcast would feel that I'm speaking the truth when I say that business today is different than it was a year ago, two years ago, five years ago, 10 years ago, we're in a different reality than we have been in the past. And today, vehicle acquisition is extremely important measure for the success of any dealership. Companies like Carvana, CarMax, uh, Vroom, Shift, AutoNation, Driveway, a lot of uh, a large volume national retailers are going after your customers trying to buy cars from them directly. And really what they're trying to do is creating a whole new funnel to bring customers into uh, buying behaviors online. And that's what we're gonna be talking about today is, is how can you create messaging around buying customers' uh, vehicles and providing that uh, experience on your dealership website that would mirror or match what's happening in uh, online retailers. Now, if you've been watching the Modern Dealer podcast, you might know that um, the previous uh the previous uh, episode was all about vehicle acquisition. And I took my own personal vehicle and I shopped it across uh, all of these national online retailers. And the experience that I had really was eye-opening to me. And I know that um, from my perspective, where I've been really, you know, keyed in on this for quite some time, but it's still very eye-opening from an actual consumer standpoint of what it looked like. So, as a re as a reminder, um, I shot my vehicle against uh, many of the online retailers, and the range that I got from my vehicle uh, spanned over five thousand um, dollars. Whether it was Vroom, Carvana, CarMax. Um, uh, and a couple of others, ultimately, I got a value of $29,718 for my vehicle. Um, that was, in my opinion, as close to a retail figure, still leaving a little bit, I mean, still leaving room for margin uh, to retail that vehicle, but it was definitely on the high end uh, of uh, the value of the vehicle and really considering retail. So much so that I sold my vehicle to Carvana and really one of the main reasons since I did it is um, that I wanted to have the experience, learn from it, and then be able to share it uh, with the Modern Dealer podcast and also learn from it from a technology, provi technology provider's standpoint and figure out how I could supply and create a technology that I could deliver to dealers um, so they can compete in that exact same experience. 
So um, what I'm going to do now is I'm, gonna, I'm just going to share uh, my screen here a little bit, see if I can uh, share with you. So this right here is a video of, uh, of me selling my vehicle to Carvana. Um, now, I was kind of hoping that I was going to get the Carvana treatment and have the vehicle, uh, the, the big vehicle hauler come up and uh, pick up uh, my vehicle. And I was going to, I had this idea that I was going to be able to film this and use it as a way to experience this. But in this case, they sent a driver. Um, she uh, jumped in an Uber, got an Uber, got dropped off and uh, uh, picked up my vehicle. It was a very easy process. Um, I didn't have my plate taken off at the time, so that's what I'm doing right now, is taking my plate off. Uh, but as I go through here, uh, that's all I did. Now, she did give me... Um, uh, she did give me some paperwork that I needed to uh, sign, but it was a I mean it was a very simple process. Um, I also uh, completed the process online, uh, which I can maybe share a little bit. I did a screen record of that too. Kind of walk through that as I, as I'm talking about it. Um, so with this process, after making a deter determination that um, I wanted to sell my vehicle uh, to Carvana, there's the offer right there and the next steps I had to take. I just had to upload uh, a picture of my driver's license. I had to upload a picture of uh, the payoff uh, for the vehicle so they could coordinate uh, getting payment for that. And I set up the ACH to be able to have that wired uh, uh, direct deposit uh, to my bank for the equity that I had in the vehicle. Uh, very easy process. And again, uh, she came, uh, picked it up, signed a couple things. Um, I think it was just a, a title transfer, power of attorney, uh, easy deal. So when they say they'll pick it up, they mean it. Very simple process. Um, and uh, I'm going to put a video of just uh, the process uh, uh, that I went through for this, and I'll share, the, share that in future episodes of uh, the Modern Dealer Podcast. Uh, but today, um, uh, we're, we're, we're going to focus on uh, a couple other uh, areas uh, here. So let me just jump back over here. I do want to share with you. So here is my vehicle. Now it is live on the Carvana website. Um, which, so it's kind of cool to be able to see, uh, to go right from them picking up the vehicle uh, and then ultimately taking it away and then seeing and finding the vehicle on the line. Uh, so of course, you know that they're uh, a very uh, the experience that they provide customers uh, to be able to do these uh, 360 spins is pretty cool. Um, you know, from here, you have the ability to jump in and view in the interior. You can kind of zoom around. Uh, I think they've, they've enhanced this technology quite a bit over the years. Uh, works very well. Kind of cool to be able to see, you know, my former vehicle uh, in this, uh, 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 you know, in this whole experience um, uh, on Carvana. You can see all the photos uh, that they've seen uh, that that they're showing. Uh, they they really find um, really nitpick the uh, the vehicle when they're taking photos, which is a really cool concept uh, for all dealers to think about, is if, if you're the type of dealer that is showing off the imperfections, and these are very small, I wouldn't have even noticed them owning the vehicle. I thought my vehicle was flawless. So in this case, they actually found um, uh, some of these imperfections took photos of them and they're highlighting them. And I think this is a great concept for Carvana and what dealers can do today to highlight those. So if you're not highlighting the imperfections on the vehicles right now, many times maybe you're getting rid of them in your detailing process and they're not. But if you do have some of those, highlighting them is a great idea. I think it builds trust. It builds transparency. If a retailer is willing to be transparent about a tiny little imperfection, they're going to be transparent about the entire process. And I think that's why they're doing that. Uh, so anyways, very cool to be able to kind of go through here uh, and see these images. Of course, um, you look at uh, how they're taking these photos. They have this big uh, a, a circular area where they take where they take their photos. Um, a uh, uh, you know a friend of the podcast 
Jay Smithwick with AutoExact and with 360 Booth, you have the ability to bring these level of photos to your vehicles. Um, if you haven't, uh, if you're not aware of the 360 booth, check it out. Um, you're as a dealer, you would would be able to even have better quality photos of vehicles online, utilizing an internal uh, an internal uh, photo booth studio. So uh, anyways, uh, kind of go going off the rails a little bit here, but just a quick rewind, rewind. Last episode, we took my vehicle and we shopped it around. We got a great price. I sold the vehicle to them, ultimately purchased another vehicle, which we're going to cover in another video. But today I want to uh, I want to talk about, well, how can you, how can you as a dealer, um, how, how can you as a dealer compete with online retailer re, or online retailers in purchasing vehicles? So let me let me share my screen. I apologize. I think I thought I was uh, sharing my screen a minute ago and I wasn't, but I am now. Okay. So uh, this let's go to uh, CarMax real quick. So you go to CarMax first. Um, first, right on their home page, you have the ability to move into the get a real offer really fast for your vehicle, plate, VIN, start the process, and you get a value. Um, if we were to go, to go to Vroom, you're gonna be able to see that exact same thing, buy, sell, trade right there, plate and VIN. And if you've noticed the advertisements around um, these online retailers, you know that they're focused at buying vehicles and their acquisition model is to buy directly from uh, uh, from consumers. One of the big reasons they want to do that is because the auctions right now, and I don't need to tell you, are absolutely insane. So you can't go wrong buying vehicles from customers. If it's not a vehicle that you're going to retail, send it to the ring and you'll probably make money. Uh, so, um, and we, we, and we can do the same thing. We can go to auto nation I, I saw an advertisement this morning for Driveway, a, a new uh, online retailer as a part of a large uh, online retailer uh, uh, re retail group. Um, but again, right there, sell my car. So this is a great way to engage with customers, start a whole new purchase funnel. So if we think about this, um, many customers already have vehicles. The second most important thing to a customer when purchasing a new vehicle is finding out the value of their vehicle. Um, so having a strategy to allow customers to get a value on your dealership website is extremely important. Customers that are considering buying a new car know that they have to get rid of their vehicle first. With all of the millions of dollars that's being spent in advertising right now for companies like this to buy vehicles directly from customers, you need to get in the game. How can you do it? Well, you can do it with Express Cash Offer. Uh, so now this, this is an extension of our Trade Value Express technology, which we've talked about on the podcast uh, previously. Uh, the uh, Trade Value Express technology allows customers to... Uh, to get an instant va uh, book value from uh, 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 for their vehicle right on your dealership website and request an express cash offer. Now, we've covered this uh, most recently in the last episode of the Modern Dealer Podcast. And the way that this product works is it allows you, the dealer, um, it allows you, the dealer, to allow a customer to request an express cash offer from your dealership by uploading six images of their vehicle. That will send a notification to your used vehicle management team, allowing you to personally get involved with putting an evaluation on a vehicle. Now, I know that this is a difficult thing to do, and it might be burden burdensome, Burden, burdensome uh, for your used vehicle management team or your appraisal team, uh, but this is a great way to get engaged with customers in real time when you're on your dealership website by following that process. Customer uploads images that get sent to your dealership used vehicle management team. They get that email with those images. They can reply back to the email with an express cash offer where you're being very aggressive with that uh, image. 
But that process does mean that you have to be involved with your customers, that you have to be ready to be able to reply with that offer. Now, as an extension to that, we've developed a new technology, which we're just simply calling Express Cash Offer. Uh, Express Cash Offer, what this allows you to do is to automate that process. Um, so what you're looking at right here is one of our microsites. Our microsites uh, includes inventory, full digital retailing technology, credit score technology, the Express Cash Offer technology, uh, scheduling test drives. All of that is available from this technology, or you can carve out any piece and add it to your existing dealership website, or you can go both routes. But let's just talk about the Express Cash Offer process. Now, for customers that are getting ready to sell their vehicle, creating advertising, whether it's traditional or digital, to drive customers to a landing page that has this type of messaging uh, is extremely important. So uh, the tool that we're going to be looking at today is uh, can be um, opened from any button on your dealership website, any call to action, any banner, an SRP, a VDP, home page, landing page. But when a customer does engage with the Express Cash Offer, what's going to happen is it's going to open up the Express Cash Offer uh, 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 system. From here, we are going to include a video that is going to uh, show off the Express Cash Offer. It's only 53 seconds long. I want to play it for you now, even, I, even though I know this is more of a commercial for Express Cash Offer, but this is something that's uh, extremely relevant for today. Uh, so this is a way that you could advertise for Express Cash Offer. Selling your car should be fast and easy. Say hello to Express Cash Offer. We've designed a whole new way to sell your car. No matter the make, model, or miles, we want to buy your car. Here's how it works. Just enter your VIN, answer a few questions, and we'll instantly analyze your vehicle against massive amounts of data to provide you a personalized purchase offer in just seconds. Optionally, you can upload some interior and exterior photos of your vehicle, along with a photo of your VIN and one of the odometer. After a quick on-site inspection of your vehicle, we'll hand you a check on the spot. We'll even take care of paying off your loan if you have one. Selling your car should be fast and easy. And with Express Cash Offer, it is. Now, what I want you to keep in mind is when a customer is going to request an Express Cash Offer from you or anybody else, they're probably going to shop it at other websites. In my experience, my difference was $5,000. So if you want to be in the game, you need to understand where these other retailers are, uh, are, are going to hit this customer in the evaluation. A great way to do that is to periodically test. Take a few vehicles from your inventory, shop them against Carvana, CarMax, of room. I'm not telling you anything that you don't already know, but it's good to be reminded of some best practices when it comes to customer engagement in digital formats. Now, when a customer is ready to take this process, what I'm going to do is let me just go in and let's, let's go ahead and price out this vehicle. Uh, and so, I mean, it doesn't even have to be your vehicle or vehicle that you have in inventory. Uh, you can just come right here. So for our solution, we have the ability to, um, right now, include VIN. Uh, our plate to VIN is going to be released next week. So this is a brand new technology uh, that we are just now rolling out. It's not even available right now publicly on our website. But for Modern Dealer Podcast listeners, if you're interested in becoming a base a customer, um, let me know and we can work something out for you. Um, but for this process, I'm just going to go ahead and continue to do this. So I got the VIN number. I got pasted in there real quick. I'm going to go ahead and grab my, uh, my, my state, Florida, and mile. So I had 9,825. Uh, keep in mind, we were at uh, 24,000 all the way up to 29,000 in values. So I want you to kind of pay close attention to how we're doing this. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just enter my first name, my last name, my email address, phone number. So as you know, we are a lead gen uh, 
solution. We're going to help you convert more leads from your dealership's website. Utilizing the Express Cash offer is a great way to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and take this next step. We use a rating system to make it as frictionless as possible. So instead of having 15 or 20 different questions about the title history, about um, uh, any accidents, previous owners, if they're the original owner, um, uh, all of that, uh, instead of having the customer ask the, uh, answer those questions, what we're going to do is we are going to uh, just have the customer rate the vehicle uh, from four stars down to one stars. Everybody knows what that means, uh, but we also provide that information uh, right in the user experience it, uh, itself. Uh, we're going to let, we'll let a customer know what that ranking means. So if it's, uh, in my case, basically like new, I think that accurately describes uh, the vehicle, uh, never had any paint uh, touch up and or body work, uh, does not need reconditioning. The engine compartment is clean and free of leaks. Uh, it's free of rust. The body interior are free of wear or visible defects. I mean, basically it's a perfect car. So this allows a customer to answer 10 questions by, uh, by uh, just answering one, by rating the vehicle. Um, you can already see that we've decoded the vehicle uh, just by using the VIN, 2018 Audi A6, four-door, uh, uh, 2.0T Sport, uh, wheelbase, all this information, uh, warranty information, 20-inch wheels, it picked that up. And that's based on the VIN number alone. So even though the 20-inch wheel package was an upgrade, the way that we are able to um, decode this VIN with the magic that we have built in there is it's going to pick up those hard ads um, with that, v that uh, VIN number. And it's also going to pick up how many owners the vehicle has had, if there's any title problems with the vehicle, um, if it was ever owned by a rental car company, all of the things that is going to, de uh, to be deterministic for the value of the vehicle is automatically being picked up by our technology and our data partners, which we're tying into a massive amount of data to be able to provide this for you. Now, as a consumer, Optionally, I can upload uh, individual images. Now, one of the reasons that I love this piece of the solution is it allows a customer to be more physically and uh, emotionally involved in the process. So this goes back to my um, uh, uh, automotive uh, uh, retail days when I was uh, selling cars and learning how to sell cars and training people on how to sell cars, working for Grant Cardone and the Cardone Group, one of the things that we did uh, for the appraisals is the traditional process would usually have the trade appraisal after the test drive, after the vehicle selection, then you move into the appraisal process, and then you move into uh, a presentation of numbers. Part of the, the card owned sales process is to shorten that process to five simple steps, step two being the uh, trade appraisal. Trade appraisal step allows you to uh, collect information about the consumer, where the vehicle actually holds clues, where you can ask questions about that vehicle and find out what is most important important about uh, what the customer is looking for, what are they looking for difference. So um, a great way to change up your sales process to make it more customer centric is to move the appraisal process into step two. One of the reasons you want to do this is you want to get the customer e emotionally involved in the process. As I mentioned earlier, the second most important thing a customer is going to find out when visiting your dealership website is the value of their vehicle. The second most important number in the entire transaction of purchasing a new vehicle is the value of their vehicle. So having them more involved in that process allows them to be uh, further down the purchase funnel with you at the dealership. This is a great way to do that. So optionally, we allow the customer uh, the ability to upload images. I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And actually, I have images of that Audi. I'm going to go ahead and put in here. So I'm going to up, uh, add an uh, image of the front of the vehicle. I'm going to add an image of the rear of the vehicle. 
And again, these are going to be, um, and actually, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen again. There we go. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm going to upload images of the odometer. This is going to help in the overall inspection of the vehicle when the customer comes into the dealership. And if a customer takes the time to upload these, once that express cash offer is given in a programmatic standpoint, um, we also have the ability to follow back up with that customer and maybe offer them uh, more, more for their vehicle uh, if it if it uh, if you determine that that is something that you'd want to do, um, so even though we're going to give an automated express cash offer to the customer, there's no reason that you can't go back to the customer and say, "Hey, after further evaluation, we determined that we were willing to pay more uh, than our initial express cash offer." And again, allowing the customer to be emotionally involved in the process, you know, they can say, "Okay, I've serviced vehicle." Uh, you know, uh, uh, every 12 months. And in this case, my vehicle, I had the 20, even though the vehicle had less than 10,000 miles on it, I did the 20,000 mile service because it was two years old. So I went ahead and just did that. That was a, uh, a $775 value. So I'm gonna share that with them so if they know that that's done, they might be willing to put another five, 600 bucks in the car knowing that they don't have to spend that in their own shop. All right, so I hit next. Now, we have Express Cash Offer set up a couple different ways. You can do use it for your group site. So any large volume national retailers or dealer groups that are out there right now that are considering this type of solution, um, this can be a solution for your dealership group. And I'd be happy to create some uh, some custom pricing for your dealership group to be able to utilize Express Cash Offer on a group site and have the customers uh, select their drop-off location. So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and select a dealership. You can see right there, the map switched over. Uh, I can go ahead and put my office address here. You can see that's also gonna show right on the map. So really very interactive experience for customers as they're going through it. And I can also so, uh, uh, select my vehicle inspection date and time. Uh, so maybe I wanna come there on Saturday at 10 a.m., get this knocked out, get my check for selling my vehicle, and I can go ahead and hit complete right here. Now this is where the magic is. So the way that I have this set up right now is with our system, we're able to take the base value that, that uh, we calculate for an express cash offer, and then we give you the ability at the dealership to augment that value in a positive or negative uh, standpoint. So if you want to be super aggressive on your express cash offers for customers, um, you have the ability to say, okay, I want to be 103 or 105 or 110% of that base value, and we can select what that base value would be. You want to be 95% of that base value. And then we could also uh, optimize this based on the condition that a customer would, would select. So you can have a different one for uh, the uh, four stars versus the three, the two, and the one. Uh, so really making this a very frictionless process, being very aggressive. I told you that I shared uh, the value that I was able to get from Carvana at uh, 29.7. If I'm a retailer today and I have a chance to buy a vehicle online directly from a customer, I'm gonna see the value as not only what's the raw value of buying this vehicle, but what is uh, my, what's the value of missing out on this opportunity? What's the value of not having this car in inventory? What's the value of not having the face-to-face -face opportunity to buy this car from a customer and move them into the purchase process to find a replacement? So what is the opportunity costs that you might be missing out? I would recommend that you uh, look at being uber aggressive in purchasing vehicles. Also, transportation fees, auction fees. So, I mean, if you're paying five, six, seven, eight, 
hundred, a thousand dollars when it's all said and done for buyer's time, uh, 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 transportation, buying fees, selling fees, all of the fees that go into vehicle acquisition, you need to be compensating your express cash offers for all those things and really looking this looking at this as plus business uh, and maybe even build in some advertising costs uh, to this you know add an extra 500 and build that to your advertising uh, your digital marketing uh, budget so it gets compensated a different way. Uh, anyway, so as you can see right here, immediately we are supplying back the express cash offer. Uh, for that individual vehicle. And uh, what ends up happening is the customer is going to get a, uh, a an email with that express cash offer uh, automatically. And I can actually show you my little magical thing here. So right here is my express cash offer email for that vehicle. So this is a turnkey solution for a customer to get this express cash offer right in the system itself. So express cash offer email, express cash offer redemption certificate or trade value certificate right on uh, the right in the interface itself, and you have the ability to tweak up or down those overall cash values. And again, keep in mind, the way that we have this set up, this is a real value that you can supply to a customer that's based on the history of the individual vehicle. So it's a personalized value for that individual VIN. It's not just a book value. It's just not not every 2018 uh, Audi A6's um, with, with 10,000 miles can be worth exactly the same. It's going to be based on the title history of the vehicle, previous owners, any rental car history, uh, any accident history. Uh, all of that's going to be built into this personalized uh, history uh, value that's going to be provided. And then you have the ability to, to tune that uh, up or down. Uh, so a lot of really cool things uh, built into uh, Express Cash Offer, giving you the ability to compete with companies like like, um, like AutoNation, like Carvana, uh, and um, provide that type of experience right uh, on your dealership's uh, website. So as we get, uh, get close to wrapping up this episode, we're about 32 minutes in on the Modern Dealer Podcast clock. And uh, because of that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a, uh, another moment and uh, get a nice sip of my coffee here. So uh, we might even want to consider this to be, even though that we don't have Bert with us today, let's go ahead and uh, talk about Bert's three tips uh, that we're able to uh, supply. So the first thing I would do is, as a tip, I would take the last five vehicles that you've appraised, understand what that value is, and then shop them against the, 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 the five top online retailers and find out where you hit uh, those values. The second tip I would have is shop your dealership website as though you were a customer and that you as a customer are considering doing business with Carvana, AutoNation, um, and you compare that experience on their website versus the experience on your dealership website. Is it as simplified? Is it as clean? One of the things that we're working on is a inventory-based microsite that provides that very clean Carvana approach to, for our dealers to be able to provide this full online transaction in a very consistent um, solution. So we're very excited about that. The third tip that I would recommend is get in the game to buy cars directly from consumers. This is going to give you uh, the ability to compete with those companies in your local marketplace. And what's great about that is you as a dealer 
have something that they can't have, and that is the community relationship. Um, many dealerships across the country have been at their location for many years, sometimes decades and decades. You've built up a lot of trust over the years. You are a in, you, you know, you, you have people that's involved in the community. All of your employees are from the community. You have the ability to leverage those relationships and the goodwill that you've created over decades and decades. What's missing in so many cases, which I see all the time, is the ability to innovate at the same pace as some of these companies out there. And it's not surprising that that happens. When you take a company like Carvana, I think I looked it up uh, yesterday, and they have a, 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 a market capitalization of $46 billion. Um, they have the resources to have a technology team to be able to continue to monitor the, da monitor the data, find out what's successful, what's not successful, uh, experiment with different uh, A-B tests, multivariant tests from a conversion standpoint on their homegrown technology websites. That's something that most dealerships don't have the ability to do. Good news is... You can uh, partner with companies like ours to be able to do that for you, or that's all we do, and we're more than happy to team up with you to be able to uh, share uh, uh, you know, different technologies to increase your overall lead conversion on your dealership website, streamline the experiences that customers have, all with the net result of higher engagement, more leads, bringing customers further down that purchase funnel online and helping you get those customers into your dealership showroom for the face-to-face -face opportunity to sell a car or create these online retailing engagements where you can sell cars online and deliver the vehicles uh, to the customers. So I tell you what, this has been a great episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, if you have, if you are a, if you are a a long time uh, uh, listener, or if you're brand new and you haven't done it yet, please do me a favor and subscribe to the Modern Dealer Podcast channel. Hit the like button, hit that notification bell. You'll be notified anytime that we upload new content. We would really appreciate it. It helps out the channel. It helps us get more reach. Um, so if you've enjoyed it, maybe you, uh, some of your colleagues would, would also enjoy it. So for David... And the Modern Dealer Podcast, that's a wrap. <laughs>